Hey everyone, it's Mayana and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be all about my thoughts and feelings because I am now three months out from when I begin medical school. I can't believe that I was at Kenyon when I made my six month out video and now three months later I'm making a three month out video. It's totally wild how fast time is moving, but before I get too much further into it, let's go. Before I begin my update for all of you today, please consider giving the like button down below some love, subscribing to keep up with my channel, and hitting the bell icon so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Those are three easy ways that you can help me reach new people and so that we can grow our community. Mayanna runs on Duncan. All right, like I said, today we're talking about my thoughts and feelings regarding my three months out from starting medical school. It's totally bizarre to say that, and I know it's going to get crazier and crazier the closer and closer I get to the first week of August. <laughs> so the first update that I have is in my last video. I talked about a campus specific class of 2025 group me. Um, but since then we now have a campus wide, or I guess a lot of people don't know what campus they'll be at yet. Um, so we have an entire 2025 um, group me, which is super fun and it's really active. A couple groups of students have gotten together um, and met places throughout Indiana um, and have had a lot of fun. I unfortunately can't attend those, um, but maybe I'll have the opportunity in the summer, we'll see, but it is a very active group. And then there's also a class of 2025 Facebook group where a lot of students are looking for roommates and things. So it's really fun to see what everyone's up to and where they're from um, and what they're looking forward to at IU. The next update that I have for everyone is that I originally talked about having an apartment that I was pretty set on, um, but I hadn't been approved quite yet, nor had I signed a lease. And as of this last week, I have officially signed my very first lease, which is super exciting. Um, and I'm very excited to move in on July 7th, which is in like two months. So I've got a lot to do, but I'm really excited to have a new space and have about a month before classes start for me to get to know the area that I'll be in for the next four years. On the note of housing, I have also officially decided to take my cat Sheldon with me to medical school. So I think he'll really enjoy having a kind of small town or city, small city, downtown area window to watch out of. He'll have lots to see, um, but I also think he'll really enjoy having my full attention as he doesn't have to split attention with my parents and the dogs at home. So I think he'll be really excited about moving into our new apartment. Plus more animal content in my videos. So I'm excited for everyone on this channel to get to know Sheldon. I'm sure you all will love him. The last little update that I have for everyone is that as of yesterday, I have officially committed to enroll at IU. I know that seems a little weird because I announced that I was going to IU so early, but the way the med school application cycle works and officially committing to a school is there's a time in February to April where you're supposed to narrow down acceptances uh, to officially have only one by April 30th or so. Um, so yesterday was the first day where we could fully opt into committing to enroll at a school through the AAMC to notify other schools. I had already withdrawn all of my other applications and I did that in November when I announced to everyone. So I, I kind of did that on my own extremely early um, and had made a decision relatively quickly. Um, so it was a little anticlimactic for me, but it's fun to say that like I've officially committed now to go to IU. But I was already committed in my brain this whole time. I don't think I would have put it out on the internet had I been 
any bit unsure. So the next three months for me, I think are going to fly by. I, this month, I'm pretty much focused on wrapping up my undergrad experience because I graduate in less than three weeks and I'll be gone, which is insane. And then after I graduate, I'm going to the Indy 500, hopefully, assuming that everything's good with COVID. Um, and then I'm taking a small um, girls trip with my mom to Chicago, which will be a lot of fun in June. Um, I'm going to see my sister at some point in June because I have some stuff still at her house. Plus she's giving me a, a bunch of her furniture now that she is going to be done with residency and moving on to a big girl attending job uh, down in Georgia. So I need to go get my stuff out of her apartment um, and also go to her residency graduation and help her celebrate the fact that she is pretty much done with the education part of medicine, which is awesome, although doctors continue to learn. Um, so she has a lot of pediverse still, but the main part is done, which is super awesome and definitely worth celebrating. So one thing that I'm working on in the next month is applying to the National Health Service Corps. I'm just waiting on one last letter of recommendation uh, and then I can submit that application. And the National Health Service Corps is a program that helps uh, medical students, um, dental students, nursing students, nurse practitioner students, basically any sort of healthcare student um, pay for their tuition in return for service in underserved areas post their education. It also is geared towards primary care. That was the other thing that I forgot to mention. So because I am someone that is definitely interested in working in a underserved area and also is very dedicated to primary care, it's kind of the perfect opportunity for me. And so hopefully um, something good comes of that. And if not, it's okay. Still gonna be a doctor. <laughs> Really for the next month or I guess the next two, three weeks, I'll be focusing on being present with all of the people here at Kenyon while I finish up my bachelor's degree. Uh, I just finished my last lab experiment last week and did the data analysis this week. So all of my undergraduate research is done, which is kind of sad, but also really exciting to see what I was able to accomplish during my time in the lab. And yesterday I went for uh, a little dinner um, meet up with the students that I studied the, for the MCAT with, which was super exciting to reconnect after we've all had successful application cycles um, and kind of talk about our thoughts and feelings regarding starting medical school in two to three months for us, which is, crazy that not too long ago we were meeting in a <laughs> classroom talking about the MCAT, what was covered on the MCAT, and then we started studying together. So we've all come a long way. We've all thankfully had successful application cycles and now we're all starting medical school at different schools in the country, which is pretty exciting. <laughs> As far as finishing up my bachelor's degree, I do not have very many things left for me to submit. I have a paper due on Wednesday, so once I edit this and get it up, I'm going to be working on that paper all weekend. Um, then I have finals. I really, I really only have one more thing kind of due before finals, um, and it's that one paper, and then everything else is finals. I have a take-home final that I already started working on. Um, I have another final that's an exam, but it's kind of open note, open book, and it's we have like two to three days to complete it, which is super nice. Uh, and then I have a in-person exam, uh, but I think that that one will be okay. I have a final paper for my gene manipulation class, and I also have to turn in my lab notebook for that, so I gotta tidy all of that up and make sure I have everything annotated and written out nice and neat. Um, and I believe I have one other final paper for research that I still have to write. So while I'm done with the data analysis and 
doing actual experiments, but I still have to write up a paper about all of the data that I've collected and present that in a short presentation. So that's kind of what the rest of my undergrad experience looks like. I'll be wrapping it up here in the next two-ish weeks. Um, oh, and I guess they hadn't announced this in my last video yet, but we weren't originally supposed to have a graduation. Um, they had told us in February that we would have an online um, virtual graduation ceremony but we do have an in-person commencement, which is super exciting. We each get to have two guests. So my mom and dad will be coming for that in less than three weeks. So I'll try and film a little bit about that uh, experience and also just the last little bits of my undergraduate experience for my own memories to have. Um, but I think it'll be fun to also share that with all of you on this platform so expect some like more vlogish and just kind of little tokens for me and future me to enjoy um because i'm sure a year from now i will a thousand percent appreciate that and many more years to come after that i think at this point i'm kind of rambling so i don't have anything else to really add to this video um so if you made it this far Thanks for watching and feel free to check out the other videos on my channel. Also check out my Instagram at MyannaCookMed for more advice and tips on applying to medical school. And if you have any questions or want to say hi, leave it down in the comments or you can even DM me on Instagram. I usually like to respond to DMs pretty quickly. So yeah, get in touch with me. I love talking to all of you and yeah, have a good day. Bye. <laughs>